welcome back. So ever since I moved into this apartment, I've been working on making my home more of my home. And today we're talking about my room. So this is part one where I show you how I transform my room since I moved in and how I decorate it. And in part two, I'm gonna show you my room tour. The first thing I knew I wanted to do is bring in that plant power and I want to be an advocate for getting real plants because even if they die, you're making less waste um, than when you get plastic plants. Like, I know plastic plants can change the vibe of a room so much, but imagine if they were real. Um, so yeah, I'm really trying to get away from fake plants. Let's just get real plants. One thing I can recommend though is planning out what kind of plants you want to get and making sure that you kind of know where you want to put them because every plant needs something different like some need more light some need less light so make sure that you have appropriate homes for your plants but now let's get into the plant adventure adventure with my mom and i'm gonna see you at the end of this video That was a pretty successful plant shop we got one big plant and now I'm just gonna look out for a little one maybe for a shelf for my window pane or for my desk so let's get my tatamis <laughs> and also my plant which I hope I hope my plant is doing well back here I think I have found some good homes for my plants over here is Coco then over here on my window pane I have my little succulent baby and it seems like it's already liking the light here As you can see my bed does not look too sexy i think we can still work on the bedding here's my extra blanket my pillow the blankets and also it's on the ground which i don't prefer so i got the tatami mats that we had in my old house and now we're gonna bring them here we actually brought them here and i just need to carry them up the stairs and put them under the bed i feel like it's gonna change a little bit of the setting as well right there and my bed right there and basically they're switching positions I just want to separate my chill spots from my working spots and create a bed corner and then my work corner it's kind of like that already but I just want to do it a bit more intentional so we're moving everything around this is my window I'm standing right here right now like right here and my bed is going to be in this corner which is that corner right there I think I need to take this off because dude Moving things around is like a workout, so...
filming right now because it's almost 4 p.m. and the sun sets at 4.30. So, um, I just want to capture most of this today with daylight. So, let's get to work. Starting to die down. Thought I knew what I deserved, but I can't sustain the thrill. One more day. everything around and we're just thinking and feeling it out what we should do <laughs> because I don't know the table just doesn't really sit well over there like the bed is quite cool over there it would also be like a cool filming set to just like sit there and the light is coming from here so I do love being able to look out and I still have like this corner here where I have wall so I would put my computer here so my computer isn't obstructing the view and also I love the natural lighting like this and I think this way there will be less glare on my Mac which I wanted to have I think I actually do like it Welcome to another update. So it's been a week since I switched around my room and this past week I've been thinking about how I want to organize my stuff, how I want to create a good energy in this room. Also I've been kind of decluttering and I think I've made some progress in terms of how I want to store my, my stuff, my clothes and also like electronics and like beauty stuff. I have a lot of travel little things and you know where do you put your sunglasses your period supplies and stuff like that and so i decided to get these plastic drawers from muji and i actually went to their big store in Zurich here for the first time with l and a and i was so mind blown and then yesterday i went there again with my dad to carry these boxes home because we don't have a car in the city so we had to carry it and like my arms are so sore. Personally, I'm okay with my decision to get um, products from that store, especially these drawers right here. I know I'm going to keep them forever. So yeah, that's that in terms of my sustainability approach with this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get much furniture right now. I know I'm going to move again. I know I'm probably not even going to live in the same country for like a continuous amount in the next 10 years. Um, that's why I really want something flexible and something minimal and simple. And I really was craving drawers for my clothes. I think that's just my favorite way to organize right now. Otherwise, that's that. I also cleaned my plan today, which my mom said I should do, and my mirror. Um, but yeah, room is looking pretty good. We're making progress. We're gonna go to the lights and look if I really want that one. And I think I'm gonna get that light over there, the one that they standing at. Um, I just want to see it in real life and see how the lighting is. I opened the mail and stumbled upon a reply Fumbled to get it open, I read it, then wondered why They said they were not interested, I'm shocked they took out the time To send me a letter back, cause the music was pretty whack I kept it still all intact, I bet it matter of fact A few years later, Rockets 50 said they'll put it on the map That's how I left my room 
to go traveling and once I get back I'm still gonna do some little changes but you're gonna see those in the room tour I hope you liked this video it was filmed over so many weeks I'm also doing other things than just my room but that can totally work so if you don't have like a whole week of vacation to do it you can do it over a couple of weeks thank you so much for watching let me know how you like this video and if you even want to see my room tour and I'm gonna see you soon. And I hope you can even see this because it's really hard to find good internet. I mean like internet that's really fast here. Um, and we're always like at a different place. So anyways, I think you're gonna hear more of my travels when I get back, but thank you so much for watching. Um, Merry Christmas. I have this uploaded like before, after, just around Christmas. Anyways, I'm gonna see you soon. I need to pack now, bye.